Good day everyone, my name is Nafneet Anand from Voice Ajkal, local and global. Australia mein Ajkal summer cricket ka season chal raha hai. So we have uh, a test match that happened in Adelaide. So we thought, why not we get an expert to talk about the coming matches as well as what went wrong in Adelaide as well. So we have Saurabh Anand with us, who is a cricketing expert. Saurabh ji, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you for having me. Hello. The match in Adelaide in the second inning for India, I think that's one of the world record for it India is. that they have created for themselves. It is. What went wrong? I think before we talk about second inning, first inning that 244 was a power score and we could have bowled Australia out for 110-20, but India dropped six catches. And then when we came to bat, we were already 62 and ahead. All we needed, one partnership, gave them a target of 200, 200 would have been enough on that pitch. It was seeming, swinging, and we had good bowling attack. But end of the day, I don't think we batted anywhere near to our potential. We need some changes in the team. And our bowling was very average because Shami was hurt because of the, you know, the ball you know, stuck. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm interrupting you in between. You said the batting was pretty average. I would rather say, the fielding was even worst in the first inning. That's like I said, fielding was worse. We dropped six catches. But, you know, when the day is gone, you got to start fresh again. So next day when we came to bed, we were nine for one. All we needed one other 150, 200 with 62 run lead, 260 target, plenty. Uh, probably we must have uh, learned the lessons from that game. There'll be tight fielding as well as there'll be batting who will be trying to the, put their best uh, Definitely. Not taking it easy at all, probably what they took. Bygone is bygone. Moving ahead, what do you think with the match that's happening in Melbourne on the Boxing Day? The probable team? I mean, the straight switch is instead of Kohli, it's KL Rahul. And I would give Shubham Gill a chance to open instead of Prithvi Shaw and bring Pant in instead of Saha just for the X Factor. Because he's the one who can change the game. Who? Panth. Panth. If, if he stays for one hour, he can change the game on his own. So these three changes should happen. And instead of uh, Shami, I would bring uh, Navdeep Sani. Okay, just so for his raw pace. Okay, so Navdeep Sani back in team, taking yes. Shami out. Yes. And uh, rather than Prithvi Shaw, Shubham Gill. Shubham Gill. And Kohli Rahul. And for Saha, Rishabh Panth. Uh, probably Kohli is already gone back to India yes. for his own personal reasons yes. anyway. Yes. So in yes. the probable team, K. Rahul is... Uh, yes, Kohli going back to India, it can be a blessing in disguise. There's four new faces coming into the team. They can bring more energy. And you never know, cricket is a funny game. Anything can happen in cricket. If they, you know, improve their fielding, bit of batting, bowling is pretty good so far. I think they can they can be upset in uh, Boxing Day. Virat Kohli has been an integral part of the team for the last so many years. Yep. They would be playing without Kohli probably after a very, very long time. Yes. Do you think morale would be a little down for the rest of the players or do you think they would probably try to justify themselves more and show it to the selectors as well as to Kohli, yes, they can do it? Yes, definitely. I think Kohli, he's the best player in the world, but last 12 months, he haven't scored a single century. So he's, for his own standards, he's going through a lean patch in terms of centuries. He's a world-class player, no doubt. He's our number one player, world's number one player. But maybe we need some time away from him. Let the other player show what they are capable of and let's hope for the best. So there's a Boxing Day match coming in uh, Melbourne Cricket Ground on the 26th. What do you think of the pitch conditions there? I think it's again like Adelaide, it's a relayed pitch. So it's over the years, it's been very flat and low. But looking at Australian bowlers, they can extract bounce from any pitch in the world. Okay, so, but this pitch might be more suitable to Indians rather than Australian. So if India can pull up their socks, they can create an upset on Boxing Day. So do you think Australia should make any changes in the team or would they be planning to make any changes? No, Australia is not making any changes. Unless there is a last minute injury, they're going with the same 11. They'll be going with the same yes. 11. And whom do you expect to take the maximum wickets? I think Cummins. And He's been their hero for last two years, I think. And other thing, if like, you know, for Indian team sake, 
I won't even mind showing Jadeja in the picture. Okay. Because last two years, he's, for me, he's the most improved player. Whether it's bowling, batting, field, fielding, he easily saves you 20, 30 runs easy. So, they need to think with their composition, what composition they want to take. I don't mind taking two spinners, because that's India's strength. And uh, three fast bowlers, go with five, uh, five uh, bowling attack. So, five bowling attack. And on the batting line, whom do you think can perform the best? Out of the both teams. Let me not say only the Indian team. I think Smith missed in the first test. So, uh -huh. he's due. And player of his class, he's not going to miss for any more than two innings. And then from our end, I think Rahane needs to perform. He's not performing the way he should be. His time is due. He needs to perform. He's the captain now. He needs to put his authority and you know, score a big hundred. And Rohit Sharma? He's still not in the team. He is expecting to come back from third test, but with new restrictions with borders and all, we don't know whether he can make it or not. Okay, so we would be playing without Kohli, without Rohit Sharma this time. For so this team month. has to come and prove for yes. themselves. Yes. And playing against the world's one of the best teams Definitely. in the cricketing field. Australia, no matter where they play, they give their 100%. So, they are always the toughest team to play with. Talking about Adelaide, Melbourne and Sydney, these are the three different pitches all together. No pitch match with no. any of the games. Which out of the three grounds do you think can go in the favour of India? I think Sydney. Because the way it turns on day four and five, if India can stretch to day four and five, they, the pitch going to turn. Because when I see being in the Sydney cricket ground or Melbourne cricket ground, the number of uh, blue yes. t-shirts and the tricolors flying there, it is like an That's India it. away from India. We outclass any, any, any team. We can go in huge numbers. And other thing, you know, like although it was pretty bad what happened in Adelaide, but we got to forget that and move on and perform to our best ability. That's what I can say. Hopefully, India put up a big fight. I don't mind losing, you can lose. One, one team has to lose, one team got to win. But the way you lose is, you know, that shows your strength. So, I'm expecting a much better response from India. You know, what I, what I enjoy the most is when one of your uh, Australian friend comes and talks about the match <laughs> in Adelaide, we easily say, I don't follow cricket. I support Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Sydney Cricket Ground 2021, I think uh, the first match Anywhere in the world for the cricketing game would be happening in Sydney. Yep. Me and you are going to be there and yes. probably we will give some of the live updates. Definitely. We will be there if the test happens in Sydney. Because of new restriction, it might move to Melbourne. But if it's happening, we'll be there. What you're saying is Sydney match may happen, may not happen. Yes, it, because Sydney SCG, the cricket ground authorities, they have given uh, you know, notice to Melbourne Cricket Ground to prepare a backup pitch if in case the match couldn't happen in Sydney. So, if there are more restrictions and yes. stricter and, uh, restrictions here yes. in New South Wales, yes. Yes. Sydney may lose that uh, ground. Sydney ground may lose that the match yes. for the time being. Yeah, or they might get the fourth one. So, they're trying their best to have one test in Sydney. Because New Year is the tradition in Sydney, you know, like Boxing Day in Melbourne. That's right, that's right. So, let's hope for the best and we want the test match to happen in Sydney. Look, hope sustains life and I'm 100% hoping the match to be there in Sydney in 2021. Definitely. You know, with that hope, I just wrap up for the day and we would definitely be giving more updates to all of our cricketing fans. Definitely. You now, on this platform, why Sajkal, local and global? Today, we have talked with Saurabh Anand and I. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. One stop answer to your Australian education and visa matters. Jemco Sydney. Dream big, achieve big. Fiji Times. Be with the Times.